How's it going guys? Welcome back to another video. In this one I want to do a bit of a species guide and I thought I would share with you my dragon plant that I have had for quite a few years now. It's sat in my front porch quite happily and um, I reckon I've had this at least three years. It's grown a little bit, not a lot, they're quite slow growing plant but the good thing is they're really tolerant and so you can put it exactly where it looks nice for you without having to worry too much about the conditions. They're quite tolerant of drying out a little bit, in fact I think um, it's probably better for it to get a little bit dry before you rewater it, especially as I've planted it directly in this handmade pot uh, which actually uh, matches the key bowl that we have in the front porch and it looks nice but there's no drainage so um, if you're going to uh, put a house plant in a pot with no drainage you're going to have to make sure that you control the watering carefully because you don't want the water to build up in the bottom of the pot and then it'd be soggy because no plant likes to have wet roots continually wet roots or most plants don't so in uh, for that reason I would only recommend doing that with a plant that doesn't mind drying out a little bit which is uh, what this plant is you can water it make sure it gets water and uh, and then just give it a couple of weeks at least and, and check how much water how much moisture is in the soil before you rewater it but you get used to each plant how much they need and how much they take and this one's pretty good uh, it's quite close to a heat source there is a radiator in the front porch but really there's just one or two dry tips very little uh, i can't i can only count one or two uh, leaf tips that are a little bit dried out which is not surprising given the fact that it is reasonably close to a heat source they do dry plants out it's not ideal to do that but this one is so tolerant it's still looking happy it's doing its thing uh, I love the shape of it and uh, yeah it's quite happy in the porch there in fact I've enjoyed it so much I've added an additional floor standing dragon plant for the corner of the porch that is a really nice red variety as well that has fantastic red uh, two or three different tones of deep red and I'll maybe show you that plant another time but yeah if you're looking for uh, an easy to keep uh, really structural plant um, then I would definitely recommend these you can pick them up quite cheaply from DIY stores uh, obviously garden centers even your budget supermarkets that I think I found this one where did I in fact I don't know I've had this too long I can't remember where this came from it probably came from a garden center or something like that but yeah it's an easy plant I really enjoy it I see it every single day when I grab my keys before I go out of the house and yeah I definitely recommend it it's uh, easy to look after and a lot of fun to uh, to see in your home so if you're looking for an easy plant somewhere to fill a space they come in all sorts of sizes a nice small one like this uh, is relatively cheap and they grow quite large depending on how their nursery has let them grow uh, what they actually do is they let this, st uh, this stump grow up to a certain point and then they'll cut it and then these individual heads will grow at that level so you'll get quite tall ones and then they cut it there or you can actually grow it yourself and then obviously you can get it to whatever height that suits you but obviously they are relatively slow growing and it will take a while if you want to do that this is not going to grow any extra height as such it will only be the height of the heads that keep going now uh, but yeah I really like it it suits the space and it's the sort of size that I want in the space there so for me it's perfect and uh, yeah so gets a thumbs up from me I hope you like it if you like uh, this plant or this review then I'd appreciate a thumbs up as well subscribe for a lot more I've got quite a few species guide coming up because I've got quite a few houseplants to share with you so um, make sure you subscribe for more thanks for watching